Good evening, I'm Randy Beamer. We are cutting into commercial time only here tonight to bring you an update on the Texas primary elections. We're getting the first results in on the U.S. Senate seat that Kay Bailey Hutchinson is retiring from. First, I want to take a look at that board. David Dewhurst, Lieutenant Governor, with 47% of the vote right now, with only 11% statewide. Ted Cruz at 30%. Tom Leppert at 15%. Keeping an eye on that race, but also taking a look now at the Democratic side of the newly created uh, District 35, or uh, recut District 35 anyway, longstanding Representative Lloyd Doggett running away with things early, more than 70 percent against the former Bear County tax assessor Sylvia Romo, about 25 percent, just under 25 percent. News 4 WOAI's Emily Bauckham shows us how the race may have been trickier than the others. I'm Emily Bach. I'm following the race for House Seat 35 of the U.S. House of Representatives. We're at a watch party for Representative Floyd Doggett. The early voting numbers are in, and it looks good for him against his opponent, Sylvia Romo, the Bear County tax assessor and collector. What they're both worried about, this map right here, it shows the redistricting for House Seat 35. It stretches all the way from San Antonio to Austin, and since the boundaries have changed, they're very concerned about voter turnout tonight. Keep you tuned to News 4 WAI and WAI.com for the latest election returns. Reporting live, Emily Bach of News 4 WAI. Thanks for that, Emily. I'm Jay Avila in the Update Center, along with Greg Jefferson, our political analyst from Plaza de Armas. Uh, we, you were saying that you thought that uh, Sylvia Romo would at least get some name recognition yeah, yeah, with I think, this. Yeah, I think what the results show us is that Lloyd Doggett has managed to uh, spend a good deal of time in Bear County. He knew he had uh, his base in Travis County sewn up, so he spent uh, a lot of time in San Antonio. Sometimes it just seems like you would turn around and there would be Lloyd Doggett. He mm -hmm. was just here constantly. And he had uh, a good deal of money for the ground game, for you know, uh, to pay for advertisements and uh, paid volunteers. But a good point by Emily. Very strange shaped district. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it definitely is. It was created uh, as a. It's called a Latino opp opportunity district. Mm -hmm. it's, it's supposed to allow Hispanic uh, voters the chance to uh, elect the candidate of their choice. Looks like in this case, it's going to be Doggett. Lloyd Doggett in Congress since 1995. Yes. Appears like he's winning today. Let's go back to Beamer. All right. Thanks, Jay. Thanks, Greg. We will have more results throughout the evening as they come in. Again, David Dewhurst looks like he could be in for a runoff against Ted Cruz. We'll be running crawls at the bottom of your screen with all the results. We'll see you in a few minutes.